Okay, uh, hello everyone. I'm Xiaofeng Gao from UCLA. Uh, today I'd like to talk about our paper, Show Me What You Can Do, Capability Calibration on Reachable Workspace for Human-Robot Collaboration. In human collaborations, uh, it is often beneficial to, to, show, to know each team member's abilities, so that a specific subtask can be assigned to someone who is good at it. We believe that for a human user who is collaborating with robots, Understanding the robot's capability would also benefit the collaborations. Take this table clearing task, for example. The human and the robot uh, take turns to clear blocks on the table. The human can reach all four blocks, while the robot can only reach the red and green blocks. For such a task, the optimal strategy for the human is to pick up blocks that are not reachable by the robots. If by mistake, the human believes that the robot can reach the yellow block and pick it up. The robot may have nothing to do in later rounds, resulting in a worse collaboration performance. As you can see from this case study, incorrect estimation of the robot's capability may impair collaboration. To deal with issues caused by discrepancies in capability estimation, we envision a calibration phase. That is, before the task, the robot can generate a small number of demonstrations to show its reachable workspace to the human. To make these demonstrations as informative as possible, our intuition is that the robot should take into account human belief of its reachability, so that in the next demonstration, the robot may move its end factor to somewhere in its reachable workspace the human doesn't really know about. To this end, we propose REMP, a reachability expressive motion planning algorithm. This is based on optimizing the trajectory to balance the reachability expressive cost and the physical cost. The reachability expressive cost would encourage any factor to move to regions where the capability is underestimated. The user's belief of a point's reachability is modeled based on its distance to the observed trajectories. If a point is closer to an observed trajectory, it is more likely to be considered as reachable. We first show some qualitative results conducted on two link arms and the PR2 robots. The trajectories generated by REMP are visualized in blue, and human belief of the reachable workspace is in orange. It is clear that our method accommodates human belief at each time step and tries to <coughs> traverse uncovered regions to better express the robot's reachability. As a result, the trajectories can cover a large part of the reachable workspace. Now we look at some quantitative results. We simulate the human's estimated reachability after seeing some dem demonstrations and compare it with the ground truth using an intersection of union measure. Given the reachability estimation, <coughs> we also simulated the performance of the team in the subsequent table clearing task. Our methods visualizing solid lines outperforms the baselines for other robots. As we have demonstrated the effectiveness of REMP in simulation, we now turn to investigate how much it will help real humans working with robots. We conducted an online study with 202 participants, manipulated the type of motions participants observe in the demonstrations. In the end, we found that REMP users reachability estimation of the robots are significantly more accurate. Compared with users in purely functional motions, REMP users are able to get a significantly higher reward in the subsequent collaboration task. They also reported the user uh, the robots <coughs> the most reliable, the most predictable, and the easiest to understand. These objective and subjective results together suggest that our approach has an overall advantage for improving humans' understanding of robots, as well as the quali quality of collaboration over the baselines. In this work, the robot capability we focus on is its reachability. We believe this is necessary since reaching is one of the most basic tasks uh, in human-robot interaction. Nevertheless, REMP can potentially be com combined with other approaches to facilitate the understanding of robots' various capabilities. Also, we mainly look at 2D reachable workspace of robots. This is due to the constraints that it is hard to demonstrate 3D positions in online study. In the future, we plan to conduct in-person study for calibrating 3D reachable workspace. 
Other possible directions include multimodal demonstrations and online calibration. Uh, thanks for your attention. Feel free to ask any questions.